Hello friends, I am Ardhindu De and you are watching Edis English Literature. Today we are discussing a very popular topic from literary criticism. What is catharsis? How is the word catharsis is relevant in understanding the tragic drama? It is important to understand the basics from the Aristotelian poetics. In fact, catharsis is a Greek word. It differently means purgation, purification and clarification. Lexically, it is a Greek word as you see in this diagram. Now, from different stages, the, the, the valuation of the word, the meaning of the words has its own revolution and evolution. Now, in what purpose Aristotle has used it? That is the problem. The problem is what catharsis really means. What is the possible connotation Aristotle used here? It has been used only once by Aristotle in his Poetics, Book 6, while defining tragedy. It says, Tragedy drain is an imitation of an action that is serious, complete and of a certain magnitude through pity and fear affecting the proper catharsis of these emotions. Based on the three meanings of the word catharsis that I have just mentioned, that is purgation, purification and clarification, different theories have been evolved to explain Aristotle's conception of tragic catharsis. Now various critics have propounded their own interpretations of the term. You can also read this discussion in essay format here. You all know that Aristotle the master, the Greek master has given us a beautiful book, Poetics, the, um, the books of rhetoric, the books of ethics of understanding, poetry and epic. Now his profession had been, he was a philosopher and first he also experimented in science. His nationality is obviously Greek, but simultaneously uh, he had been a world citizen because his theories has now expanded throughout the world. And while understanding the basics of any of the subjects related to modern science, modern, uh, modern literary, modern ethics and philosophy, we can have the access to this great Greek master. From the Platonic Academy, he was educated and he had the influence of Socrates, Plato, Pythagoras and Epicurus. And he had been a great master of the great warrior Alexander and Theophrastus. In later European revolution, he influenced Kant, Descartes, Aquinas and Rousseau of his philosophy. Now, his uh, works on poetics, his work politics and metaphysics has um, given us a much weightage of the uh, literary caliber that we are living with. Now catharsis has been taken to be a medical metaphor. Purgation denotes a pathological effect on the soul similar to the effect of medicine on the body. Uh, some have referred to homeopathic treatment with the like curing the like. Thus pity and fear are roused and form purgation of these emotions. Thus catharsis implies a kind of relief. As per pathological treatment with the unlike cures are like the arousing of the pity and fear was supposed to bring about the purgation of other emotions like anger, fright. So, for example, if we are getting a sort of a sort of uh, stuffed with emotions, uh, it can be relieved through a medicine, and that medicine provided by tragedy. Lucas and Richards reject this kind of medical interpretations. Lucas says the theater is not a hospital. Yeah, and Richards says that both pity and fear are harmonized and blended in tragedy and this balance brings reliefs. 
So this pity and fear is harmonized and blended in the tragic piece, in tragic flow of the incidents. And in that balance, uh, if we uh, see this kind of, uh, we get a kind of uh, pity for the character. And we also get intimated that if we do such kind of exercises, if we so, if we exercise that kind of actions in our real life, we get such and such punishment. So this is a sensation of fear. This sum total of pity and fear get a reaction, a reaction in total to the audience as well as to the uh, entire uh, dramatic effect it exercises. And by that exercise, one can uh, get uh, educated by that piece that one should be uh, very much uh, get yourself ready that if such education is not being received by tragedy, we will meet the tragedy uh, in our real life. In ethical interpretation, it is explained that divine law is working to make the universe the best place for living. The ethical interpretation is a kind of inner illuminations, resulting in a more balanced attitude to life. Tragedy makes us realize that divine law operates in the universe, saving everything for the best. So catharsis is a kind of kind of understanding that divine law and understanding that divine law is the very uh, purpose of doing or uh, rather writing a tragic play. So getting that philosophical concept, that ethical concept is the very purpose of tragedy. Humphrey House points out purgation means cleansing. According to him, catharsis is an educative and controlling power. According to the purification theory, catharsis means that our emotions are purified of excess and defect or reduced to an intermediate state. Thus, catharsis is a kind of moral conditioning. So, we, after watching a tragic play, get ourselves educated in whatever way and that education makes us our way perfect neither the purgation theory nor the purification theory examines the whole thing they are occupied with the psychology of the audience so aristotle was chiefly concerned with the technique of tragedy, not with the psychological effects. That has to be understood. That Aristotle has defined catharsis for the for the definition of tragedy, not for the uh, what effects it does on the audience or so. Therefore, clarification theory is more appropriate. Tragic incidents are pitiable and painful. They include murders of dear ones. Such incidents, when presented in a great tragedy, produce a kind of a pleasure. Why so? Because that pleasure is a satisfactory one that I have not done this works. This is a tragic paradox. This is the pleasure peculiar to tragedy. When we see Shakespeare's play Macbeth, for example, Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, we see tragic deaths and murders. Yet we get aesthetic pleasure. This pleasure is of tragic variety. Generally, tragedies are more popular on stage than comedies. Why so? Because tragedies give us a sensation of pity and fear. So, tragedy provides a universal truth, in fact. Catharsis refers to that tragic variety of pleasure. The catharsis, that very word catharsis clause, is thus the definition of the function of the tragedy not of its emotional effects on the audience so that clarification uh, must be appreciated so the clarification theory that uh, we find uh, recognizes the true nature of the poetics as a technical treatise 
it relates to the theory of imitation and to the discussion of probability and necessity. By catharsis, particular is generalized, individual is universalized. So catharsis is a process of learning and therefore the learning of this, a piece of life lesson is pleasurable because it amends our way of looking at the things. So from different point of view, the meaning of the catharsis can be taken uh, as a account of technicality or technical understanding of the tragic drama instead of its uh, or definition of audience or reaction or audience. So Aristotle's definition of catharsis is purely intellectual. It is neither didactic nor theological nor it is a moral doctrine. Aristotle lays it down that tragedy at all times makes its appeal through emotions, through pity and fear. It can succeed only when it arouses the pity and fear proper to it. The doctrine of catharsis has been interpreted in many ways that I have just told you. Since catharsis is a Greek word and every language has its own nature, its own grammar, and since every word of every language has its own syntax and meanings, and particularly the time frame when it was written, the debate over the meanings of catharsis will continue. And we as a literary student must interpret this word in understanding the tragedy, in different facets of understanding the tragedy. So this piece of lecture will definitely lead you in understanding the true meaning of catharsis. Now what's the true meaning is debatable, but we can get close to the meaning of catharsis in, 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 in this way. We, we in fact must interpret ourselves at what length, at, at, at what criterion we can find out the meaning of the catharsis. While we are understanding a particular tragic drama, we must read that that particular tragic drama is kind of a litmus test in our way to life. If it passes the litmus test, then it creates a pity and fear, it creates a kind of catharsis, otherwise not. So interpreting truth of life, the way of its lesson is the very meaning of catharsis. We can have the effect of catharsis in tragic drama. Tragic drama interprets that wholeness of the truth, the altered truth, the realistic vision of our life. So this piece of lecture might affect your studies. Little bit of understanding it may render in your way of understanding poetics and particularly the definition of catharsis. It may have different loopholes, different debates and different contradictions, but it definitely will help you in your way of proper understanding of tragic drama. So like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. Thank you.